All right, today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite jigging lures for ice fishing for trout. So, first off, and I'm going from the bottom up as far as my preference, are flies. Beadhead flies, uh, they're very subtle. They, they move up and down slowly through the water column as you're jigging them. You can add a split shot if you want them to move more quickly. They're effective. They work. Some days, if I'm looking for something more subtle, they're the best. Next, hair jigs. These used to be my absolute favorite. Before I started using plastics, that was it. I used chartreuse, white, black, pink. I would say my number one ice fishing jig for many, many years, all growing up. And they work. Very effective. Now, I would say they're a little harder to find. Also, when that hair and body get, you know, torn up, you can't throw a new body on it, which is the advantage of the tube jig. Now, this one, I went, I'm say I'm going from the bottom up, but this is actually, I'd say tied for the top. I struggle between picking a spoon or a tube jig. The tube jigs may be uh, my primary go-to. It's hard to say today because I just caught my biggest rainbow trout yet on a spoon. Um, this white with the black fleck, very great jig. I love it. Catches a lot of fish. Another thing that I do um, that's a little bit different from some folks is I'll do both an interior setup, keep covering my face, an interior setup, and sometimes if I'm wanting to change out frequently, I'll just rig it like a regular plastic. I slide it up on, I can switch from one color to the next quite quickly. I could switch switch to a shrimp. This, I caught a few fish on this morning. Um, just, a, just a jig head, kind of tucked in there as you can see. And these you can get super cheap on Amazon. I can't remember how much, but they are dirt cheap. They're effective. I use them for um, kokanee lures and they work through the ice as well. Then a little trick you can use to combine the hair jigs and the plastics. This is just the, the green hair jig rigged with a plastic. Now this is a hoochie. This is not an actual tube jig. I, it's a two and a half inch hoochie that I've trimmed down. But these are very easy to get a hold of. You can get lots of different colors. This one has glow eyes. Um, and they work. I catch, I'd say, just as many fish as I on these as I do on the tube jigs, and you can get an assortment of colors very affordably. I mean, you can just see all sorts. On Amazon, online, you can get them from P-Line through Sportsman's Warehouse. Um, these are all P-Line hoochies, and they just work. That's a full size before I've trimmed it down of that one I showed you with the hair jig. You can get red and whites. I mean, you name it, you can get them. They work great. So it's another option to add other than just doing uh, those tube jigs. All right, next and actually third, since I jumped to the tube jigs, is lipless crankbaits. These are great. They fall back through the water column a little bit more slowly, which sometimes is a better presentation. They have a rattle and they flutter pretty aggressively as you pull them up through and as they descend. One thing I like about these and the spoons over some of these other jigs is that they migrate a little bit. They will travel out of your kind of vertical column that you're fishing as you're, you know, letting them descend or jigging them up. You'll see them kind of moving around. So they work great. Always have some of those. And then last but not least, today that big rainbow that I'm going to show you was on that guy. So that's a Thomas Boyant. I'd say it's probably my favorite jigging spoon. This is the brass with has that red dorsal stripe, the black dots, red and yellow. That is a quarter ounce, which is not my go-to size. Sorry, it's still tied to the rod. Um, the sixth ounce is actually my preferred size. Size, you can see, it's just a bit smaller. Uh, the pretty similar lure has the red dorsal stripe, the black, the red, and the yellow. So those, very effective. I'd say those are my two favorites. And then the rainbow color, I caught a ton of rain or a ton of fish on the rainbow pattern last weekend, the sixth ounce, the smaller one. Then Thomas fighting fish. This is a great one. I feel like the Thomas buoyant and the fighting fish, they have 
a really aggressive flutter as they, they fall down through the column and as you pull them up, and a, just a little bit more aggressive than like the Castmaster, which is a lot of people's go-to. I mean, I, I catch fish on these, I use them. Um, this is a hot shot. It's an older lure, really great. Um, those are some of my favorites. So I'll show some fish that I've caught on these. They're great. Um, and I always have plenty of those in my tackle box.